All right, it's gonna be a rough launch today. Yeah. Okay. Like and that. Follow it out, but don't. You can't go too far right. Yeah. See that churn? And see, there's rock. He's going right into a rock. Oh yeah. Okay. So try to get over here and get to that right side first. So. It Oh, yeah. Whew, did it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and today on the kayak again, and we're out for salmon this time. Oh, man. Salmon. That's right. King salmon, also known as Chinook salmon. I've never caught one. Last year, I went out for salmon six times, and this is what happened. Yeah, it wasn't too big, but it was a keeper. Oh, damn! And that was the closest I got to catching a salmon last year. Whew. But this year, I'm going to catch one for sure. It might not be today, might not be tomorrow, but this year, I will catch one. I can guarantee you that. Last year, I was still working full time, so I could only go a couple times. Well, I went six times in total, and all six times, no salmon. I learned from those trips and I think I can get one now. Woo! Still early in the season, so I'm not too worried about not catching one today. I'm just going into it as kind of like a, this is a warm up right here. It's a warm up. Here we go. Well, we're already trolling right now. Trolling some anchovies. And say he's on. I think he might be on. Let me just give him some space. And say so he got a salmon. Hooked up on a small salmon. At least that's a good sign that they're around. So and we're just uh we're just getting out, so that's a good start. Brought this camera today. So we get a little close-ups. Let's see that first salmon. Yeah. This is a crippled anchovy hood, and I got a Got two hooks on there, four out hook, a little rubber band on the tail to keep that one there. And this spins in the water nicely. And I have a downrigger so it can send it down to whatever depth um, I need to. That's the setup. And I also have a flasher, this bling bling. Right behind me, you know, big, big man. I mean, I know sharks in the barrel on, but working in the barrel on. I can tell you, this was a big one. <laughs> <laughs> big shark out here right now. Well, that's scary. Big great white shark out here with us. Oh, Tough day. Still using the same bait as I started with. <laughs> no bites at all. Not even a scratch. Oh, something's happening. Oh, it's taking off for some reason. What's going on? Still on the downrigger. I don't have one. I don't have one. <laughs> it's, it seemed like I might have had one because it just started feeling drag. Well, I think that's it, guys. We've been going for about six and a half hours now, pedaling the whole entire time. So that's day one for you guys. No bites, no nothing. All right, see you guys in day two. Good morning. Here we go. 
day two, baby. Day two salmon fishing. Hopefully we can get on one today. At least one. We'll see though. We'll see. All right, let's do this. Well guys, day two isn't going so well. I think it's been about four hours. Nothing for me, nothing for Ense. One tiny little shaker for Adam. It's not going so well. Possibly on to day three. So after two days of salmon fishing and getting no bites, I need to adjust something. And one of the things that I realized that I really need to adjust is my line. The line, the main line that I'm using on this Shimano Dakota is a 40 pound braid line. And all I was using is a five foot leader. That was a 30 pound leader. And first of all, I think 30 pound fluorocarbon leader might be a little bit too thick and the salmon can see that. And it's only a five foot leader. And the other day, day two when I was fishing, it was the visibility was very clear. About 20 foot visibility, even I can see, you know, 20 feet. So imagine how much salmon can see. With the only a five foot leader, I think that braid line is highly visible to the salmon. And any kind of, you know, line they can see, they might not strike because of that reason. And I think that was, one of the main problems that I had in those first two days. So what I'm going to do is take this main line and I'm going to take this 30 pound, uh, 30 pound fluorocarbon and I'm just going to top it like maybe 30 feet of 30 pound fluorocarbon and then the last five foot leader I'm going to use this 20 pound leader. So thin it down a little bit and I think that will give a better presentation and it will be more difficult for the fish to see uh, the line. Hopefully. I think a lot of people just use mono line for their main line too. So that's kind of decreases the visibility. But I have this braid line on. I don't want to waste it. So I'm just going to top it. I got the FG knot all tied up, so now I'm just gonna reel in about 30 feet, uh, starting at this 30 pound fluorocarbon. So now you can see it's topped with the fluorocarbon leader, and I think that's plenty of it in there. So basically, my main line is gonna be a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader, and then it goes to this flasher, 20 pound leader, to a bead swivel, and then a a total of about five feet for the 20 pound leader. So, leading up to my crippled anchovy hood. Day three, here I come. All right guys, here we go. Day three, let's get them. Oh geez, over there, yeah. Crazy. That's what I was hearing. I just kept hearing a big, like, a bang, splash. But it's a big old whale just reaching over and over a lot of action over there or we're heading over wherever you see whales or you see birds diving that's most likely where the bait is so that's also most likely where the salmon will be as well and this whale is going off <laughs> I just keep seeing his big old tail just like whipping around What the hell just happened? Yo, just popped, and my uh, something's wrong with my rudder, or not my rudder, my my drive. Uh. Oh, see, that kind of pops off right there. It's like like this screw right here needs to be tightened a little. Oh, bit. okay, okay. I don't know, man. Let's just go um, get some rockfish right here on the way in. Um, I don't have any rock fishing gear. Oh, I got you. And I want to catch salmon. I know, man. I know, but the chances are very slim. Well, let's just try right here. Okay. 
it's close enough, you know, I can paddle in, no problem. Well, if I hook up now, how hilarious would that be? Hey man, at least I'm trying. Man, I guess uh, that's pretty much it for day three, most likely. Here we go, guys, day four. Day four salmon fishing. I'm starting off today with the watermelon apex. Adam's up there already with the birds. Here we go, today's the day, I can feel it. Today's the day. Today's the day. Whew. Launched this morning. It was a little wet. But uh, once we got out here, look at this. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. There's so many. There's so many birds. Whoa! Oh I know. Holy crap! Whale just <laughs> boom, mouth open right next to me, about 30 feet that way. That's close. Look at that. Oh my gosh, he's headed right towards me. He's headed right towards me. Watch this, watch this. You're gonna see him behind me. He's gonna be behind me right now. I think he dove under. He dove down. This is crazy! many whales this is insane never seen this many whales in one spot see that over there <laughs> yo this is crazy you're crazy bro <laughs> are you mooching yeah. nice heck yeah you crazy on that thing yeah? Pretty stable? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> oh my god, it's so crazy. My goodness. Look at that! Whoa! I can't explain how bad this smells. <laughs> Those wheels smell awful. Little difficult to get a steady shot while pedaling, but uh, I think there's a bunny and a daddy in there. Oh, all right, guys, I think this might be it for day four. We just had a quick couple hour, two, three hour window to fish, and we were out in the water at 6 a.m. And uh, we got to get off by 9. 
because the wind's gonna pick up and the swell is gonna pick up as well. So, man, I think this might be it for day four. Ah, we tried, we tried. We were out there with the whales. We were out there with the birds, man. But the salmon weren't there. Another day, on to day five, all right? Uh, let's go, on to day five. I'm not giving up, I'm not giving up. Oh, the whales though, the whales were freaking awesome. That was so cool. I don't even mind I didn't catch fish because I got to see so many whales. Never seen that many before. That was insane, insane, insane. And I got to smell them. Oh man, they smell so bad. <laughs> they do though, they smell so horrible. Well, bye right, guys. Starting with the apex today. Seems like apex is a thing that people have been catching them on. So let's start with that. Uh, Adam's using bait, so if he catches one on bait, I'll switch to bait. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Damn, so many boats out here. Just hauling ass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, nine, thirty. Thirty cranks on the downrigger. I think it's time to get one, man. It's ridiculous. People have been catching them a lot now. So now, I think today's the day. I guess I've been saying that every day, but today's the day. I'm out here with Adam from Die Hard Fishing again. Oh man, we have both been struggling. Pretty much uh, every time I've gone out, I've been going out with Adam, and we both just been having no luck with these salmon. Uh, but today's the day. I could probably hop on somebody else's boat and go catch one much easier. But I don't know, I wanna get it done on a kayak. Kayak salmon fishing is 100% the hardest kind of fishing that I've ever done. It's ridiculous. I don't even know what I'm gonna make yet exactly. I just have an idea. I wanna make several different things. So it'll be multiple episodes, the salmon video. Sushi for sure though. The big thing will be sushi. Cause Jocelyn loves sushi, or she loves salmon. Jocelyn's favorite fish is salmon. And last year, I let her down. I didn't catch any. Couldn't catch them. Uh, this year, so far, I'm letting her down again. So I gotta catch a. I gotta make sure to catch one this year. Hopefully today. So uh, both Adam and myself, we're not using fish finders today. I have the fish finder on me, but I'm not using it because it feel like a sort of bad luck. Poss potentially, that's what's uh, the bad luck. So we're, we're gonna we're gonna eliminate the fish finder and just go with our instinct. Yeah, instinct over technology. That's a good motto. That's a pretty good motto. Instinct over technology, baby. Oh, oh. Oh man, I thought I just, I thought I just saw some bites. Got my heart racing. Uh, I might have a rockfish on there. I think I have to check Come my line. Both, yeah, there's a little fish on there. Oh, black rockfish, huh? That's a decent one. I'll let you live. I'm not going for you today. Lucky day, buddy. All right, first bite it was a rockfish. On the radio, haven't heard much being caught. Somebody was on but lost it. Uh, that's about it. So I don't think any of the other kayakers are catching either. Uh, there's at least, I don't know, maybe 10 kayakers out here. My instinct is telling me that they're right here, right in front of me. There are no other boats within 200 yards of me, except for that one. I think I'm gonna go down to 32 cranks. I'm at 27 right now. Five more. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go six. 33 cranks. Oh, I'm on, I'm on. Come on.
Come on, baby. Come on, come on. Come on, be a salmon. Please be a salmon and don't come off. Yeah. Better let go. Better let go. Come on, please don't come off. Keep the pressure on. Come on. Can't really tell if it's big or small. I don't know. Not fighting too much. Woo! Woo, let's go. Let's go. I just got a tire mount. There you go, he's still fighting. But he's not fighting too hard. So I think it might be small. Oh, there we go. Stay cool. Stay cool. I'm good. I'm good, man. Ah, there we go. Finally. There we go. Shit, 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 shit. Oh! Woo Finally! Watch, it's a rockfish. <laughs> Stay down, stay down, stay down. All right, I'm on my leader, 20, 20 more feet. Should start seeing him right now. See my flasher. He just took off again. Still got some energy, so not gonna rush it. Not gonna rush it. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Still got some fight in him. Let him take, let him take. Let him take. Let him take. Let him take, let him take. Let him take. take your time, take your time. Don't let any slack, don't let any slack. First salmon, baby, let's go! Oh. That thing cannot be that small if you've had them on for that long without it getting tired out. Well, see, I'm just taking my time. Oh, I'm, at the, I'm on my flasher. I just saw the tail. I don't want to get your... Whoa! Whoa! Just ran under the boat. I cut my engine. There it is. There it is. That net job. Oh man, I thought it was. He's on there. Good. Oh, You've it's a nice one. It's a nice one. Hi, wait. It's a nice one. Well, it sounds like somebody's up somewhere. Yeah. Is it a salmon or a thresher? It's a salmon. Oh gosh. I'm so nervous to do this. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm just gonna tie him out. Get him in the net. <laughs> Alright, here we go, here we go. No. Oh. He just dove down. He just dove down. Come on. Oh, he's going back down. Going back down. 
here we go. Deep breath. Oh, it's, it's pretty heavy. Oh, I'm not ready. Adam's on too! Hell yeah! Double dump! Oh, he still wants to go. You can just get the nose pointed into your net and you're good. Alright, he still wants to go. Oh, this guy won't give up, man. This guy won't give up. But neither will I. Let's do this. Oh, it's a nice fish, baby. Oh, it's a nice fish, baby. Oh, damn it. He saw the net. Come on up, oh, just a little more. A little, little closer. Oh, he still ran. Oh, dove down again. He's tired for sure, because I'm tired. Oh, he's taking line still. He's taking line still. Ooh, this guy won't give up. Barbless hooks, man. Barbless hooks. Yeah! Come on, baby. Come on. No. My neck got caught on the downrigger. Of course. Turn around. Oh, it's my bed. Right. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. This is it. This is it. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Woo! Yes! 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 Oh, and the hook is off. Yes! Woo! Woo! Oh, yeah! Stringer! Yes! I got the stringer. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> Woo Hold on, stringer, stringer, stringer. Lock in, baby! Woo! <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh, oh here we go. Oh, I can't even lift him. Yeah! So he's so slimy. Yeah! Woo! They came off in the net, huh? Yeah. Came off in the net. Alright guys, so this right here is a king salmon. You can tell by the mouth inside is black. It's got that black gum. The black gums and the tongue is black as well. And it's got the little uh, dots on the tail. That's a king salmon, baby. Woohoohoo! Yes! Yeah! Oh my gosh. I worked so hard for this fish. The hardest. Uh, most difficult fish that I've ever tried to catch. Oh my god. Oh my god. I gotta bleed him. <laughs> take it out, take it out. There you go. Mouth closed. There it is. There you go. 31 right there. Woo hoo! Yeah, baby, I gotta get this guy on ice. Good thing I brought ice. 
Oh, get in there. Yes, yes. I'm so stoked, so stoked. That was awesome. That was so, that was so good, man. That was so good. See that? No fish finder, instinct. Instinct over technology. Man, that took probably about 30 minutes for me to land. That took me a while. Well, one, I just wanted to take my time to not lose them. And you saw the net job. I was uh, struggling with the net. It's Cause it's awkward on a kayak, man. I'll tell you, it's awkward. But made sure to take my time and finally got it done. Worth every, every second, every minute that I put into fishing for salmon. And I'll do it again. And I'm gonna catch more this season. That was just the first one. What a day, what an awesome day. Shout out to Adam though, from Die Hard Fishing. Hey, if you guys haven't seen his channel, you guys gotta go check it out. We've been working hard, man. We've been working hard for the salmon. And I've been with him pretty much every day that I came out. Um, so yeah, man, shout outs to you, Adam. Uh, working hard together. Working hard together, even though, man, he and he missed his, he lost his right at the boat. So, man, would have been crazy if we would have caught it at the same exact time. Um, but if you guys haven't seen Die Hard Fishing, please go check him out, show him some love. And yeah, he catches some big fish too out here. So yeah, check him out. So this is what I use right here, the Watermelon Apex with the 4-Aught Octopus Hook, Barbless. And I had the Silver Flasher, which is this one right here. Put the Silver Flasher. Here's the salmon one more time. Look at that beauty. 31 inches. Ooh. I'm just gonna scale them right here. So when you're scaling salmon, instead of using a scaler or or your knife or something like that, it's best to use a wire brush. It's It'll come off because they have tiny scales and this really makes the scaling much easier. And it also won't damage the meat either. If you go too harsh with the scaler, you end up sometimes, you know, breaking the meat and stuff. This will keep the meat very nice and to be able to take all the scales off like this. Oh, this one's about to, it's, it's, uh, it's getting eggs, but it's too immature to eat. Stomach's actually pretty empty. Look at it. Not much in there. Make sure to clean out the bloodline. If you want to preserve the meat on your fish, always take as much of the blood out as possible with any fish. Now I'm at Hinata. This is a place where I used to work before I became full-time YouTube. And this is a sushi restaurant. Uh, they were kind enough to let me back and work on this salmon here. By the way, if you guys want sushi in San Francisco, Hinata Sushi, San Francisco, open for takeout, you know, show them some love. This is where I used to work right here. So uh, let's get started. Since the fishing portion of this video was really long, I'm gonna keep the cooking portion for just this video very short and uh, pretty quick, okay? Make sure to come back to the next episode because the next one's gonna be all about how to fillet salmon and how to portion it for sushi and how to salt it, how to freeze it and um, how to make sushi from salmon. It's gonna be all about salmon sushi. So that's gonna be part two. For now, we're just gonna do a quick fillet and I'm gonna just grill the collar, something simple just for now and then we'll get into more really really the good stuff on the next episode.
I want to introduce you guys to a Japanese dish that you may have not heard of, but it's very common in Japan. So it's called ochazuke. So we're going to do salmon ochazuke today. Ochazuke is basically tea and rice, basically. So you make soup out of tea with rice. And we're going to top that with salmon and some umeboshi as well, which is a pickled plum. We're just doing this while the rest of the salmon freezes and so we can eat it for sushi. So the next one's gonna be a nice, beautiful sushi platter. You see all of that fat kind of dripping and making little flames. Oh, that looks amazing. I'm gonna flip them over. Oh, yes. Yes. Just gonna temper the bowl. So once I put the liquid in there, it doesn't cool down right away. You gotta use some genmaicha. Um, this is like the most simple way to make ochazuke. You have this, these little packets. These are little ochazuke packets. And this is the pickle plum flavor. And, and it just looks like that when you sprinkle it on. And you put the tea right over and you know, that's it. And you, you're good to go. But we're adding, we're gonna use this also, but we're gonna add everything else here as well. All right, let's taste this salmon. Oh my, oh my, oh my, yes. Whoa, it's so soft, so soft. Mm. Mm. That's so I good. Taste the fattiness in the like soup. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm The flavor combinations mm, are perfect with salmon and umeboshi, I think. Mm -hmm. And the tea, again, maicha, delicious. I don't know. That's what we do. It's very common in Japan to have ochazuke, but in the U.S., you barely see it, right? You rarely see this. And most of you probably never heard of this before, having rice with tea, or tea as the soup base, basically. The, the crispy skin really does it for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Man, that's buttery. It's so buttery and smooth. Love it. Love it. This was such a hard catch. Man. Mmm. Crispy fins too. I'm so glad I caught them finally. Oh, so thankful for that fish. And we're gonna be even more it's gonna be even more amazing once we get the sushi going. And Jocelyn's gonna be all over that. So that's going to be the next episode, guys. So look forward to that one. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you to the salmon gods for letting me catch a salmon today. Well, thank you for watching, guys. See you next time. Peace. Woo! Trying to finish this. Really good. Really good. Really good, huh? Mm -hmm. Really, yeah. <laughs>